I'm back. Spend time with my my little buddy. Hello again, YTPC. I'm back home. Grabbed my <clears throat> Stanwell brush billiard. Loaded it with Solani Ace Burley. Haven't had this in a couple weeks. I'm having concerns. I got coffee as well. I'm having some concerns after my dental work when it comes to my pipe smoking. It's not the same. I don't know. Nothing is actually as far as taste. I don't know if getting these front teeth removed if it's messing. And I have this partial that covers the upper, the roof of my mouth. I'm wondering if that screws with your palate when it comes to tasting things. I hope it's temporary, you know, until everything heals up because. Be quite honest, the smoking isn't enjoyable at all yet to me. I can say this one is, uh, it's more enjoyable than the last couple bowls I've had. And my little buddy, you know, I fired up the camera, so he's going to make his way over here. I got, uh, I'm out of peanuts, so we're going with Cheerios. I bet he eats the hell out of them. We'll see. Here's the test. He's doing his whole creep up, you know, are we cool thing. So needless to say this, uh, this partial is taking a quite a bit of getting used to. Well, if he's checking them out, he don't know. That's what I got. That's what I got, buddy. Maybe he won't like Cheerio. <laughs> Quit being so picky. Damn. <laughs> he won't take them. Hmm. Anyway. <clears throat> I do want to talk about one thing. Well, more than one thing. I picked up. Yeah, this smoke is definitely way more durable than my the two I had while I was down visiting the children. Um, I finished bowl, both bowls down there, but it was not. Uh, then I took uh, Sun Bear, which I smoked. That was one of my smokes, and if I'm not enjoying that, then that kind of worries me. And uh, Peter Stuckaby, 1931 Flick. Those are the two, two of my favorites, and uh, I didn't enjoy them all that much. Um, maybe it's just a healing process. Tomorrow will be a, today is a week since I had the work done. Um, yeah, I'm actually, this is somewhat 
resembles what I remember, you know, smoking, tasting like this, smoking this blend, tasting like. So maybe I'm just getting out of the woods. I, I hope so. So I found a little, they call it a tobacco shop. You go in, they got, you know, like everything. You know what I'm talking about. But he did have pipe tobacco. And I picked up a tin of McBaron <clears throat> plum cake. I did have a bowl of that too. And I'd say the jury's still out because like I said, um, I just, up to this point, I just can't get a good, uh, a good feel for what anything tastes like. And I'm blaming it on that surgery that I had done. Even coffee, so. Time will tell, I guess. Um, heading out for a long work trip. This will be the first one in like a month. So I'll be back in my, back in the work mode again. That will take a little bit of time as well. Um, we're heading out to Michigan early afternoon. So I got time to have a pipe this morning, get everything packed up, ready to go. It's like a four hour drive going to Jackson, Michigan. I believe. Hmm. Tell you what, this pipe just smokes so well. I don't have to, I think this pipe, I probably have fewer relights when I smoke this pipe than any pipe that I own. But yeah, this being like one of my top three tobaccos, I'm still not like enjoying it the way I should. Um, I don't know if it's because of the, <clears throat> just the parcel itself. Um, screwing with my mouth, with my taste. They didn't tell me that that would be the case at all. I think it's a combination of just having the work done and uh, <clears throat> not smoking a pipe for a week, because that's how long it was. So I have a feeling um, it will be just consecutive long trip after, you know, full trip after full trip after full trip for quite a while now. So we'll be back to living in hotels. Um, Booked the hotel yesterday. Um, <clears throat> seems like a decent place for the price. It's a very reasonable, very reasonably priced hotel. Um, I like to find those that don't have a pool. 
don't quite have all the amenities you know that people look for they generally are under a hundred dollars a night easily under like usually you know between 80 and 90 dollars a night I don't use a pool I don't need a pool um, found one of them so that's always nice sometimes it's hard Sometimes you just kind of, yeah, you got these amenities that you're not going to use and you're paying for them. And yeah, my little buddy, he's just not sure about these Cheerios. He wants, he wants them, but he ain't going to take them. I feel kind of bad because I was training these chipmunks to get close to me and I did it by using peanuts and uh, we're not doing that anymore because they made a complete mess. They're all over everywhere. So now they're like confused. They're like, dude, where's the, where's the peanuts? Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. He keeps looking at me like, what the fuck, man? Beautiful day today. very active morning he's out the squirrels are out the birds are all over he just will not take don't try feeding uh, chipmunks Cheerios they don't take them these are even honey nut Cheerios they must not smell right to them Even retro hailing is not right. If any of my subscribers or any of you, any of those who aren't subscribed but come check out the channel, if you ever ever had the experience of having to start using a partial in your mouth. <clears throat> Did it affect your smoking? Was it permanent? Was it, you know, temporary? I'm really hoping it's temporary. Or I'll be smoking a pipe a lot less. A lot, lot. Kind of a bummer, to say the least. I mean, everything else is fine, you know, the, why why you smoke a pipe, you, you know, just the cadence of it, it still relaxes me, slows everything down, but man, when you don't have that awesome, uh, when you can't enjoy the flavor of the tobacco, Even the room note is not the same. So my my sinuses, I had the front teeth pulled. So I'm wondering if that messes with your palate, if it messes with everything until it's healed up. <clears throat> I haven't been eating much because it's the same thing when I eat. It's just not... It's almost like when I had COVID, it was just screwed up. Everything's messed up. It's not right.
We'll see. See how it plays out. I'll take a... I'm planning on taking some tobacco and a couple pipes with me. Um, gonna be gone a while, so hopefully it'll start. Getting back to normal. Never thought I would welcome being back to the northern Illinois area, leaving Georgia. Um, it was pretty damn warm down there. It was in the 90s every day, humid, and here it's like in the 60s. It's, it's just much more comfortable, actually. Um, that's one thing you got to deal with when you move down south. You don't have to worry as much about the winter, but the summers are, in my opinion, summers are pretty brutal. They're, they're hot. I mean, it's not even June yet. Uh, that area down there, it's my children, they live uh, in Hinesville, so it's southern, southern, uh, southeast Georgia. Not far from Florida, actually. Um, it's actually the Savannah area is what it is. And it was warm. More than warm, it was hot. My kids probably tired of listening to me complain about it, actually. Now, this is the first... First cup of coffee I've had since the uh, since I got all the work done and yeah it's it's not normally I'm not enjoying it like I normally do so something's I think it's I don't think it's as much the uh, the partial itself I think it's just the work that I had done and I got to be patient I guess something that I'm generally not. But I will finish this bowl and then probably run an errand or two that I need to get done and then pack and it'll be time to leave. Um, I'll probably make some videos this week if I, if time presents the, gives me the opportunity, which Generally, it does I mean. Um, hope everyone has a amazing Tuesday. I hope you had a great long weekend too, by the way. And until uh, next time, keep them lit. Mm -hmm.